everybody, it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my February wrap up for you guys. Um, you can tell that school has started because I only read one physical book this month and then I read how many? One, two, three, four, five audiobooks. So you can tell that um, my new semester has started because of that. So I'm here to talk about all of those books. So I'm going to start with one that technically I'm not counting, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. And that is Good Morning, Good Night, uh, Little Pep Talks for Me and You by Lin-Manuel Miranda, illustrated by Johnny Sun. I pre-ordered this when it was first announced. And so I got it back in, I think two years ago and 2018 was when it came out. I don't actually remember. Um, and so I finally, finally finished it. Um, so it's literally just little, um, like, inspirational good morning and good night quotes, um, with cute pictures throughout it. Um, I've been using it on and off, um, which is why it took me so long, so I just wanted to talk about this. It's really cute, um, and I quite enjoyed my time reading it, um, and so I encourage you guys to go pick it up if you haven't seen it before, haven't read it. Um, it's really just a fun way to, like, start and end your day. Um, with a little pep talk, um, and they're, they're like super short too, um, but yeah, I'm not counting this as towards my wrap up or towards like my yearly book count or anything, but I just want to come on here and say it's really cute, you guys should all go read it. Alrighty, so for real, starting the wrap up, I'm going to talk about them in kind of a weird order, but the f only physical book that I ended up reading this month is Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. This is, uh, historical fiction of Alexander Hamilton and Elizabeth Schuyler, and it's just kind of their story up until they get married. I've had this, I think, for like a year, half a year, something like that, um, but I was very excited when they first announced this series um, because I love Hamilton, the musical, and so was very into any historical retellings of Hamilton's story. Um, it's really cute. It's told in dual point of view, so you get both Alex and Eliza's point of views, which is really nice, um, and I, it's one of the better, like, historical fiction versions that, of Hamilton and Eliza that I have read, um, so I quite enjoyed my time, I'm very excited, I'm, I started the second book, which I have here from the library, but I don't have time to physically read it, honestly, I am 100 pages in, so not super far yet, but I have started it and definitely want to read the third book as well. Um, so yeah, but I did finish Alex and Eliza and loved it. The next books I'm going to talk about are two books that I ended up rereading this month, um, and that is The Selection and The Elite. And I believe they're by Kier Cast, but I'm blanking right now, so let me double check that. Yep, I was right. So these are, this is the first two books in the Selection series by Kira Cass. So, I read these books back, I think, 8th grade or freshman year of high school, I don't remember, somewhere around there. And the first time I read them, I was like, oh my goodness, these are amazing, I love them. Since then, uh, I've kind of declined my opinion of them a little bit. So, the first book um, is really not terribly bad, and I'd give it, I think, like a 3.5 or... A I think I'd give it like a 3.5 stars um, out of 5 just because like it sets up the world of the selection um, and I mean it is very surface levelly, but it's more enjoyable to read about America trying to figure out if she wants to stay in the selection or not. But the second book, The Elite, oh my goodness. If you do not like love triangles, do not read this book. I don't mind love triangles normally, but this was so over the top. It was like every single time she was with, so there's two boys, Aspen and Maxon, and every time she was with Maxon, she was like, oh, I'm totally going to pick him. He's my future. I can see myself doing this. And then anytime she's with Aspen, she's like, but I can't get rid of two years of history, and he's definitely my future. She went back and forth so many times. It's crazy. And it's like all within the span of like a couple of weeks that happens throughout the book. And even throughout the span of one day, she'll switch back and forth like three or four times. And I just could not stand it. So I definitely did not like this book nearly as much as I enjoyed it the first time around. I'm still going to finish the Elite, um, which is, or no, the One, which is the last book. 
just because like I don't really remember what all happens like I feel like there was something to do with the rebels attacking and it like tried to make a more like political kind of statement or like cultural statement but I mean it really isn't that kind of book for it so I'm going to finish it but yeah did not really enjoy my time with them although the audiobook like the narrator was fine like I didn't have any like complaints it wasn't amazing but it like wasn't terrible either um but yeah that was that Next up, I'm going to talk about one that I didn't really know anything about going into, but quite enjoyed my time with, and that is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. It's a sci-fi, i call it romance. Um, it's about these two characters, and the girl is like princessy type, like high society thing, and the guy is a soldier, and I cannot remember either of their names right now. Um, Lilac is the girl, and... Tarver is the guy. I didn't remember. So yeah, Lilac is very high society. Tarver is, so sold. Tarver is a soldier. They're, the ship that they are traveling on ends up getting hit by something and they end up stranded together on a deserted island and the story kind of follows them as they try to survive and figure out what's going on. I quite enjoyed my time. The audiobook, well the book is told in dual point of view so you have Lilac and Tarver chapters. Um, and so the narr they, for the audiobook, they have two different people doing the voices, which was really fun. Um, so I really enjoyed, like, being able to obviously really know whose chapter was whose. Um, and it just made it more enjoyable in general. Um, and then there's also this part where there's, like, this interview kind of happening sporadically throughout the book that you kind of have to figure out, like, what's going on with that. So I liked having those, like, integrated into the audiobook as well. It was done very well. Um, the book itself was quite enjoyable. It wasn't like anything like astounding or anything but it was a lot of fun reading it um, and I'm excited to find the next book and I have it on hold from the library so hopefully I will get the audiobook and it will come in soon so I can read it but yeah it was an enjoyable time. And then the last books I'm going to talk about are um, the audiobooks for Illuminae and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. These audiobooks are amazing. It's a full cast narration, so they have different people for each of the different characters. Um, there's kind of sound effects that go along with it. So like in Gemina, there's a pop song that is, it's like a bit part of the story. And they actually like made a like jingle, like made a song for it and like play the song as the song lyrics like happen in the book. It's so cool. It's amazing. And like if you don't know anything about this series, it's a sci-fi series but it's told through files and so you have like different formats throughout the book anyways. Um, so it was really cool to see that happen or to like listen to that happen in the audiobook. If you do have a physical copy of the book, I would suggest like kind of every once in a while flipping through the pages and like catching up to where you are in the audiobook because there are some times that like it makes more sense if you see it physically. Um, like sometimes the text on the page will like do cool things like it'll go like that or like we'll go in a spiral or like it'll slowly get bigger things like that. Um, so it was fun and like I've read them before so it was really fun like rereading them and so I kind of already knew what was happening in the story and being able to then like follow along in the physical books was really fun too. So if you can follow along at least a little bit in the physical books I would suggest that but the audiobooks were so good. They were amazing and I really really loved it. And also the guy who plays Ezra in Illuminate is also Tarver in These Broken Stars which was really funny because I started These Broken Stars and then my hold for Illuminae came in, so I dropped everything to listen to Illuminae. And I was like, wait, is that the same guy? And it totally was. So that was kind of funny to um, first hearing that. But yeah, it's amazing. Also, Ilu er, Gemina is like one of my favorites. I love the dynamic between Ella, Nick, and Hannah. Such a great dynamic. Um, I mean, the, the, the relationship between Katie and Ezra in Illuminae is also good, but they just oh they bring it up a level and it's so cool 
Um, so I highly, highly recommend the audiobooks for the Illuminae Files. They are amazing, incredible. I can't say enough good things about them. So yeah, those are all the books that I read in the month of February. Comment down below, let me know what you guys read last month. Did you end up reading extra because of the leap day? I know I didn't because I had an eight page paper that I needed to do. So unfortunately I didn't get fun reading done. But um, this month I have my spring break. So I am hopeful that I will get at least a little bit of fun reading done. Um, over spring break. It's helpful in that because I volunteer at the public library now, I have a little bit of a commute each day or Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So I have time to listen to audiobooks, which very much helped um, in getting all of these books read. Also, sometimes I can listen to them as I'm doing tasks in the library. So that's also helpful that like I have that time that I am simply setting aside to listen to audiobooks or like am able to listen to audiobooks because I don't really have that um, because I have so much homework to do during the semester. So yeah, enough of me rambling. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!